They sense a shift in the governance of Northern Ireland, a political earthquake for the United Kingdom. The result raises the prospect of a vote on Irish unity. Sinn Féin on course to nominate a First Minister. Well, there's still a way to go yet, David, but obviously it's a very significant election for many reasons and the people have responded to our positive campaign, a very positive message, and it's now time to get on with forming an executive and delivering for people. The sea border between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the consequence of Brexit, has fractured the Unionist vote. But the Democratic Unionists were not conceding defeat. They know there can't be a power-sharing government without them. We need the long shadow of the protocol removed from the political institutions in Northern Ireland. It is creating um, untold harm to Northern Ireland, and it needs to be dealt with, uh, and it must be dealt with. And uh, the government need to hear that message very loud and clear. Sinn Féin did better than it hoped. The DUP not as badly as it feared. One of the big stories of this election is the quiet revolution that's taking place in the middle ground. While it's clear many people are still voting along traditional lines, a growing number are choosing not to vote unionist or nationalist, but for a completely new type of politics here. Excuse me, folks. The Alliance Party could double its representation, a clear signal from a weary electorate. Precious little hope. Um, available for people at the minute. It's been a pretty grim couple of years and the politics has been pretty grim to match it. We just offered people, I think, hope that things could be better and that's what we want to deliver on. Brexit had already placed the constitutional question on the table, but will Sinn Féin now demand a referendum on Irish unity? The conversation around the unity piece has been forthright into the fore for quite a considerable period of time. That was always going to be the outcome. That's going to continue the other side of this election, regardless of the outcome. If Northern Ireland has elected a First Minister whose party doesn't want Northern Ireland to exist, it's a defining moment. David Blevins, Sky News, in Belfast.